Oh, you know there's a place in the valley created by retired scientists and engineers to inspire students. That's right, and since weather and science go hand in hand, Team 12's Crystal Henderson is at the Arizona Science Lab in Tempe where she has something shocking to show us. Right, Crystal? <laughs> Take a little lightning bolt with my elbow. Ready? Oh, did you see that? And you could see the static electricity too, causing these streamers to go up. So let me bring over Arnold. What is happening here? What's the science going on? Well, what we have here, Crystal, is one of the many experiments at the Arizona Science Lab. This one's static electricity, and this is called a Van der Graaff generator, and it's just like walking on your carpet on a cold morning, and you get this electrical uh, discharge, which is just like lightning. That produces about 20,000 volts of positive electricity, and the reason you're still there <laughs> and still with us is it's so quick uh -huh. and your body has got so much resistance that the, the power level that you generate is very low. Oh my, and if the, that isn't cool enough, coming up, we are going to be showing you the very basics of hydroelectricity. Back to you now. Looking forward to that, Crystal. I get nervous when you're doing ah, that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and then I wanted to see what your hair was doing. <laughs> Ooh. She's doing some laser hair removal. <laughs> that's, that's what we thought you were doing. Uh, apparently, I have too much conditioner in my hair for that oh. to work. Uh. Hey, you go. But girl. the hair looks good. Uh. That's right. <laughs> With the heat returning, if you need a cool place to hang out, you may want to check out the Arizona Science Lab. Team 12's Crystal Henderson is live there in Tempe right now with some fun stuff to do. Hey, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Hey there. No, this is not a model of a Ferris wheel. This is what we call a water wheel, and we can't wait to put it into motion here for you. But first, don't expect to be finding any water to be coming out of those clouds here in the day, uh, days ahead as we take you through the next three days. A couple of high clouds mixing in, not going to be ringing any rain out of those. More sunshine than anything in those high temperatures, shooting about five degrees above average into the low 80s. Those overnight lows, though, a great excuse to open the windows and save on that AC bill. Back out here live. Okay, Roy, tell me about the magic and the science of this water wheel. This water wheel is based on the concept of a mechanical advantage and uh, with a little bit of force out here like this cup of water we can lift these two liters of water but if we keep adding water of course we get more and more lift and we keep turning the water so this is the same principle we use uh, for uh, both uh, turbines for generating electricity 25 percent of our power comes from turbo uh, water turbines like this um, and the uh, uh, other uses would be windmills uh, that we see out in uh, the Las Vegas uh, area and uh, in California and also for um, grinding corn. <laughs> kind of like the one that we see, you said. Middle Avenue. Middle Avenue, yes. yeah, absolutely. And when the kids come here to the Arizona Science Lab, they actually build a little miniature version of that and put it into uh, place and it rotates as he's showing right there. So they get to learn all of these concepts here. Uh, you will be able to find out more by going to azsciencelab.org and making sure that your student gets signed up to check out some pretty cool stuff. And coming up, we're going to show you students here today built a rocket. Yeah, a rocket and sent it up into the sky. It's super cool. We'll be sharing that with you for 12 News at 6. In the meantime, back to you, Stacia, Joe, and Kribe. Thanks a lot, Crystal. Very well, cool. Well, tonight we are checking out the Arizona Science Lab in Tempe. It's a place created by retired inventors who want to go ahead and inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Meteorologist Crystal Henderson takes us inside. Cardboard, tape, scissors, Soda bottle? No, we're not at an arts and crafts class. We're at the Arizona Science Lab and we're going to build a rocket. Three, two, one! Hi, my name is Stu Wecker. I'm the director of the Arizona Science Lab. We're in the middle of the rocket workshop talking all about the science of rocketry. They're applying that science and hoping now to build the best rocket they can build. Emoji. I'm going to build a death machine rocket. The rocket itself is a two liter soda bottle and the rest of this is a paper plate and pieces of cardboard for the fins and then tape to hold it all together. Hi, my name is Arnold Brenner. was very fortunate to have been one of the engineers who actually worked on the first portable cell phone. Hi, I'm Roy Zabrowski. I was an aerospace uh, engineer at Honeywell. I helped develop computer software and we built this science lab. We're all volunteers. Nothing is paid. We have a few sponsors. We're in our eighth year now. We've had over 15,000 students come and visit us. Well, I filled up my entire journal. Uh, 
they come on a field trip from all schools all over the valley. We do rocket ships, we do solar cars, we do sailboats. It doesn't matter about speed, it matters about how high it goes and how straight it comes down. They go from zero to 100 miles an hour in about 200 milliseconds or two tenths of a second. Three. We never kind of grew up. We're a bunch of little boys, I think, when it comes to building this stuff. We call that the, the wow moment. It just feels so good to see something you put together perform in the way that you expected it to. Did you know rockets have a little something to do with forecasting? They're what put the weather satellites up into orbit so that we can show you clouds and storms on the weather maps in real time. At the Arizona Science Lab in Tempe, Crystal Henderson, 12 News.